I went to uh, Barcelona to try the Tapas 24. Their food is really, really good. And they have two units in uh, Barcelona and they open one outlet in Singapore, Boat Key. Robertson Key, right? Robertson Key. And then I um, bring Sean to come over here to try their set lunch because uh, uh, the chef is going back to Barcelona today. Then I'm going to show you that what we can have for tonight, uh, this afternoon, and see what we can get. So, this is a chef, and then uh, the his name is Carlos. We are going to have this for the lunch. So I'm going to show you that what we have, and then you can get the outdoor seat and the indoor seat. Okay, so. Uh, I had the food in Barcelona, it was very impressive, very delicious, especially the caramari. And then I hope that uh, Chef Carlos are going to impress Sorry. me again. <laughs> so the welcome drink for the set lunch is Sangria and made by this lady, the master, uh, what they call, bartender. So let's see what we can get for today. Okay. Sean is going to try the Sangria. Uh, I tried that last time, uh, after the photo shoot right over here, I think it's very nice, strong. <laughs> it's it, like, let me try. The one I had in uh, Barcelona is quite light. But this one is better than what I had in Barcelona. <laughs> it's really, really strong and very tasty. Here come the very first dish will be the... Uh, Olive marinadas. So let me give it a try. So that's Chef Carlos. He's uh, very busy to uh, chatting with his customer. And let Sean try the olive. Oh, someone broke it. <laughs> okay, everything is fine. It's served warm. It's very delicious. Very unique to me. Different, right? I tried the big olive and the uh, small red olive. Both are very, very good. Which one did you try just now? Uh, the small one. You tried the big one. You will be impressed. Yeah, just... I prefer um, olives that are warm. Yeah, it tastes very good, right? We always had the olive like in a uh, room temperature. But this one is like very unique. And I think they put on a uh, lemon on that and then it's like make it taste slightly different. More refreshing. Very refreshing, yes. It's not that oily and uh, very gelat. Very nice. Yeah. So where is Chef Carlos? Oh, he's gone. I think I'm going to say hello to him to thank him for the meal in uh, Barcelona. So um, when you go to Barcelona at Tapas 24, you will have the same, exactly the same setup like that. Um, the next one we are going to have is uh, Escalivada, which is the anchovy and black olive on the crispy toast. This one is beautifully plate. And then this is the croquette de jamon, which means uh, is this one. So Iberico ham in a homemade villa, eh, <laughs> slightly breaded and deep fried. I had that in Barcelona. I think I had that in uh, Tapas 24 in Barcelona as well. Very delicious. When you cut inside, it's slightly, slightly, slightly creamy and you have a lot, a lot of pieces of the ham amazingly and very very tasty so let me give uh, let me give it a try so inside the croquette de jamon it looks like this slightly creamy and then uh, i remember now recall it like totally the same that i had in tapas 24 in barcelona let me give you a try mm. Oh. Mm. it tastes exactly the same that I had in uh, Barcelona and the next one is the uh, Andalusian gazpacho <laughs> which means the cold refreshing soup of Roman tomato the tomato in uh, Barcelona is very delicious things that I buy back from uh, Barcelona is uh, tomato potato and orange so let's uh, give it a try so Sean is very impressed with the taste of the croquette de jamon. Very nice, right? <laughs> and um, I just had a bite of this uh, escalivada. Very, very unique. Um, it's served cold, crispy toast. And um, I believe this bottom is the grilled, what do you call, uh, eggplant. The tomato, olive and the anchovy 
So it had a very unique taste like sweet, sour whips and salty, crispy texture. Very, very nice. Now we are going to try the Sanglia Blanco, which is the white color Sanglia. So let's give it a try now. Okay. So Sean is going to try the white Sanglia, which is the Sanglia uh, Blanco. It has a peach and a very fruity pungent inside. Very refreshing. It is very different with the red color Sangria. So when you are come over here, uh, we will recommend you to try two types of the Sangria. Or maybe if you want something fancy, you can try the Sangria Kaba with the sparkling wine. We could not resist. We are going to try the uh, Sangria with Kaba. Give it a sip. Pitchy. <laughs> Bubbly. So um, with all these three, I would recommend you to like really try all these three. Really a different um, experiences and different tastes. I'm going to try the cold refreshing soup. It looks like this. I'm going to remove this first. And you just drink the soup like this. Oh. Mm. So it has the Roman tomato, capsicum, olive oil, and served with summer salsa. This is a summer salsa. Very refreshing. I would say that uh, after you eat all the like olive oil, olive, all the Iberico ham, the croquette, you have this one, it brings out a different flavor for you. Now Sean is going to give it a try with the <laughs> very crispy the summer salsa and drink with the soup nice right <laughs> we will recommend you to come over here to order the soup the andalusian gazpacho the next item that we are going to try is this one king crab and saladilla rusa so it's a uh, mayonnaise miso mayonnaise and topico not sure what is to be cool. I think it should be the the white color stuff or the red color stuff. Let's take a look at how. Oh, something creamy. Let me give it a try. A big bite. Mmm. Wow. I'm gonna let Sean try first. You will be impressed by the texture. It's light flavorful creamy and then like um i would say that if you are going to um, pair with the sangria it's a very good match i like it very much and then uh, when i come back i want to order more of this next item is this one mccoy burger so inside there's a foie patty in bridge but <laughs> served with the four grass mousse let me show you it looks like this Ta -da! and this one looks like hummus but it's a foie Ooh, ooh, ooh! very good very good i like it very much i just tried the burger sean is decided to dip with the foie gras. i think the foie gras served cold is very unique to me the burger is the best burger i ever had very tender very juicy very very impressive yeah. Very easy to bite. Yeah, and then it's like the burger is not overcooked. Look at the beautiful color. The next one is truffle Spanish tortilla. Tortilla. Uh, I was told that uh, when you go to Barcelona Tapas 24, you must order the tortilla in the store. This one looks very good. So tortilla is a uh, omelette with potato and truffle and uh, pancetta. I'm not sure what it's been set up. So inside the tortilla, it looks like this. Very thick, a lot of potato. Very impressive tortilla. It is uh, slightly sweet, very tasty. The potato is like very um, fluffy, very well done uh, Spanish omelette. This is our last main dish, squid in paella. Looks very good, smell very good. Sean is going to try the black in paella. I hope you like it. This is one thing that I miss out in Barcelona. Got no chance to try in uh, the black in paella. Nice. How is the squid? Mm. It's sliced very thinly. 
and it's um, very tender, so um, it's very easy to like chew and like uh, disintegrate it. So it's nice. I'm going to try the gins and tonic from the Nordes. It's a special gin from Spanish in the area called Galicia. So this is called Barcelona. You for the gin, you can choose the different types of the. Uh, mixer so it will come with the cucumber mean for Barcelona it will be lemongrass and black pepper like this so I'm gonna pour in some of the people tree tonic water not too much I like my tonic strong I tried the gin and tonic I think everyone should try it it's very unique it has a very it has a hint of like pepper and lemongrass very very unique even the gin is like not very sharp I recommend you to try this. It's time for dessert. So chocolate cake Ta -da! and ice cream. I was told that this is a heavenly good chocolate cake. I think this is a lava chocolate cake. Oh yay, I'm right. Oh wow. Wow, looks good. Sean is going to try the chocolate cake. I just try one mouthful. <laughs> I tell you, it will send him to the heaven. Very rich dark chocolate and then like very very flavorful. Very soft in the middle and then to pair with the ice cream is perfect match. Chef is like preparing something I guess. Mix up the pasta. So we, we had a very nice uh, lunch try over here. Strongly recommend you come over here to give you a try. Indoor seat and outdoor seat are available. So it depends on which one you prefer. And to drop by to have a delicious tapas try over here in Singapore.